Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some defensive plays for you guys today. I'm in uh, practice mode right now, uh, but later in this video, I'm going to show you guys how these plays work uh, in gameplay as I'm trying to do pretty consistently with all of my uh, practice mode videos now. At least in playbooks that I use. I mean, I still break down like the Raiders and the Saints, which are playbooks that I'm not currently using in my gameplays. But if I use it in my gameplay, like my Kansas City Chiefs ebook here, which is the only defense that I've used pretty much all year, uh, I'm going to show it in gameplay as well so the formation that i'm going to show is going to be the even six one out of the four three when i first saw this formation earlier in the year i really didn't use it at all but over time it really became one of the most consistent run stopping defenses for me uh it's my go-to run stopping defense anytime i'm in a uh a situation like a goal line which you'll see in the in the gameplay footage later or uh, you know something like that a fourth and short a third and short whatever I need to get a stop I get my opponent into a into a, into a situation like that I'm going to pull out this defense. This is gonna be my go-to defense The defenses I run throughout the game are mostly out of the big nickel over G You guys probably know that or the nickel three three five. These are probably the two base defenses They're not nearly as good at stopping the run as this particular formation is and like I said It's also a really good pass defense and I'm gonna show you guys a blitz out of it too for people that like to, to blitz So there's really three plays that I would say uh, would be the three plays I use the most. Uh, the number one play, like I said, this is more like my base defense. That's the cover four quarters. So I'll go ahead and I'll show that first. Like I said, I'll come back around. I got uh, some other things uh, to show. I'm not going to run this in practice mode, so it really doesn't matter. So we'll just go random, uh, random single back here. So to set this defense up, there's really not a lot of setup to it, which is one of the best things about it. Um, number one, all I really have to do is I got to close up that gap in the middle here. So if I hit the D-pad to the left and then down, I'll take away that gap. I typically blitz my user, uh, which if you time this right, you can shoot this gap. This is a small gap, but it's a gap, and you can shoot it, and, and a lot of times you can catch the running back in the backfield, uh, which is nice. Other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it for the base defensive setup. There's two additional setups that you can do whether you think your opponent's going to run or pass. Now, number one, I pretty much always want to, to bring these cornerbacks and safeties down because number one anytime you're in a cover four cover four safeties uh they usually if you watch they'll usually shoot down not 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 necessarily like like you know shoot down like uh like you were run committing but they'll definitely play down first and then play back which is typical of any cover four cover four safeties will typically uh play the run first the, the guys in the middle which is one of the reasons it makes it a really good run defense uh now when it comes to the pass defense even when these guys are down like this they typically don't get beat, which is nice. They're not typically, a lot of defenses you don't want to press because these outside cornerbacks get beat by streaks and stuff like that. This is not one of those defenses, and especially in this scenario where there's no receiver even over here, I don't even have to worry about that. So I definitely want him down in the box. So like I was saying, if you definitely want to do a, a step up against run defense, there's only real one adjustment you have to make, and that's basically hitting wire triangle and then doing underneath. If you do that, these outside linebackers will shoot down and contain that outside a lot better. So that's one of the reasons that if you really want to kick your run defense up a notch, hard flagging is going to be the way to go. Uh, if you think that they're passing, though, I would say that's not the way to go. If you if you suspect that they might be passing, leaving them in a quarter flat. Once again, if you're on a goal line, the hard flats are fine. But if you suspect that they're changing it over to a passing player, they're just in a run formation, and they're going to play action, you and hit you with a passing play, the quarter flat's a much better defense. And then the last step, if I'm suspecting a passing play, would be to put one of these defensive ends, uh, either the whoever's the fastest, the, the X or the B, uh, it doesn't really matter. If you can bring up your icons, by the way, I get people to ask me this all the time when I, when I just made a video about how to three wreck a player. You hit the D-pad to the left twice, brings up your icons, select one, and then hit your right stick to the right, and now you have a three wreck. So this is pretty much what your defense would look like in a if you suspect a pass. And like I said, it's also a really solid pass defense, uh, which you'll see in the gameplay highlights i show you here in a minute. Last thing I'm going to do always, I'm going to blitz my user here. Uh, it's just, you know, obviously I'm going to cover towards the middle kind of like the three rec is uh, but it'll give me the three rec gives you a little bit more uh, a little bit more security that you can kind of roam away from that area because three recs are really good they really cover well so that's something that I would say would definitely be uh, the setup uh, for this particular base defense for the whether it's run or pass this is pretty much the base de defense that I use the most 
Now, I know I said I wasn't going to show this portion uh, much in practice mode. I wasn't going to run it against practice mode. But I do feel it's important to show at the very least how to shoot, uh, how you can shoot a gap, which, you know, a lot of people like to do this year. All I'm really going to do, like I said, same setup. I'm just going to basically hover right here, and you're going to see how there's going to be an opening right here over the middle. And you can see how I can just cut right in on pretty much any run play. So for people that like to, uh, to do this, you know, I do it sometimes. I think in the highlights I show you, I, I, I miss actually take a shot. But you can see how this just opens right up for your middle linebacker, and you can get right inside. So that was a stretch play. Now I'm going to run it against an inside zone just to show that it doesn't really matter what run play it is. Um, but you can see there's nobody really blocking me, and I can just come in and take away a lot of run plays. That's just something you can do to kick this defense up a notch. All right, so now I'm switching over to some gameplay highlights here. Like I said, I wanted to show you guys this in gameplay. This is my opponent. He basically got down into, uh, you know, first and goal right here. He's just going to get a first down. And this is basically the time that I'm going to switch over to my to my run defense. That last play was a little bit of a different defense. But I'm going to go straight to the cover four quarters. Like I said, this is my number one run defense. Mostly because those safeties play down in the box. Mostly because I can hard flap those outside linebackers and uh, really get some stops. And it's also going to be a good pass defense as well. So, like I said, all I'm doing, pinching this defensive line. Then we're just going to uh, going to hard flat. And this is all we got to do. We're going to put ourselves on a, on a blitz. Uh, which here, he's been running a lot of outside stuff because of that formation. You can see right there, it makes it shot down by the linebacker absolutely nowhere to go and like i said i'm gonna stay in this as long as i see he's in a run look or a formation this is pretty much the formation he was using most of the game uh which is why i pretty much know this is exactly where he's gonna go like i said i'm blitzing that guy for whatever reason if sometimes the linebacker stands up i couldn't get him back uh which hopefully i mean luckily it doesn't make a difference here he comes with that exact same sweet play although he cuts it off short it's stopped on the next play, he actually comes out in a passing formation because he knew he wasn't getting anywhere. Uh, so I'm not going to show that because I, I just used my, my normal pass defense, uh, different formation entirely. We get a stop. We hold him to the field goal uh, from first and goal at the four. Uh, this is, you know, so fast forward a little bit later in the game, uh, same opponent. Um, he's going to do the exact same thing. He's going to, she's going to get from, you know, he basically moved the ball well enough against some of my more uh, regular base def defenses. Although right here, uh, he's got to take off with the quarterback, and that's pretty much what gets him into the exact same situation first and goal from the four, which is exactly what he was in last time. And I'm going to go right back to my run defense. Anytime I'm in a, in a predictable situation, I'm going to pull out the run defense. He's been running the same formation all game. It's pretty much the same run play that I run to be honest with you and he was having a lot of success with it until I came out in this package you can see right there he doesn't even get a yard he's gonna run the hurry up but he does this quite a bit um, just trying to basically I don't know I mean I think he was trying to catch me on a pass defense he switches formation this time though I think I think he wanted a little bit more of a different uh, look and then you can see I got my full setup and I got my hard flats got my pinched line I got my my uh, my blitzer I'm a blitz of my user and I think on one of these plays I try to shoot the gap although here like I say he's doing a lot of motions trying to trick me sure enough he gets me out of that uh, gap but it doesn't change the result as he loses a yard and we get another stop so here we go again third goal um, this is another scenario. I mean, if, if I suspect that he's going to pass, I'm going to switch over and basically come out and pass defense. He has he had more success passing against these defenses than he did running against the defense I'm trying to show you today. Here, he almost gets a touchdown. Gets it down to the one, maybe down to the one foot marker. Tries to call a timeout because I know he wants to run the ball, but he doesn't want to see this defense one more time. He doesn't want to see my 6-1 even. So, I'm not going to give him that opportunity. I call the timeout, switch over, going right back to that cover four quarters. If you want it, you got to earn it against this defense. I'm not going to give you any free passes. Uh, and sure enough, this particular play, though, I think I ran commit. You can see how the safeties really shoot in, uh, which is a trick, obviously, you can do. Um, but if you want to stop somebody on a short situation like that, you almost have to. So fast forwarding, we got a different uh, game here, um, different opponent. This is something where I'm going to basically, you know, this is going to show a little bit of the pass defensive side because you can see we're pretty much in the same look here. But he's dropping back the pass. There's nothing open on either side. If you look at the left here, everything's clamped up based off of the hard flat. we got double coverage on that side. The other side here, we have basically nothing's open. I mean, I have everybody locked up, which shows you just how good of a pass defense this can be. My opponent has to hold it. And he's getting sacked for a 17-yard loss. So the second defense that I would use out of this as far as a base defense defense would probably be the Tampa 2. Uh, I'll show that in a second, but I also want to show there's a really good blitz that you can do out of this. 
uh, which I don't personally use a lot in gameplay. Every once in a while, I'll dial it up. Just as kind of like a curveball, just throw something different at my opponent. You know, I, I don't think there are people that like to run this type of defense all game. A lot of people that like to run uh, all out man blitzes, and I just feel like they're too risky. You can give up too many big plays, and that's going to be the Sam Will blitz. Now, I use this all the time uh, in my uh, in my solo battles and stuff like that, but I don't necessarily think this is the best defense to use. Uh, when it comes to uh, online gameplay, because I feel like, I mean, you can, like I said, I do use it from time to time, but I don't necessarily use it uh, uh, consistently enough. Like, I, I would think that it would eventually burn you. But that's the Samuel Blitz. So I'll show you guys a Blitz out of this package here that you can use. Uh, but like I said, I wouldn't use it as consistently as I using the Cover Four Quarters or the Tampa 2, which I'll show you here in a minute. So let's go and let's pick that Blitz. On the offensive side, I'm just going to pick random, uh, random single back again just to keep it consistent. So if you have an opponent that's, you know, there's two ways to do this. You can just, you can pinch them the same way, a lot like the cover four defense. And I'll still blitz my user and just come down to this gap trying to pull guys. Uh, and this will do a really good job of getting uh, getting pressure. I also like to slant outside a lot of times um, just to try to take up those blockers. But I don't find it's 100% necessary to do the slant outside. And you can see because of the high pressure of this, you're going to get a lot of run stops. Like I said, I do, I do run this. I just run this sparingly. So this is something that you can do. I'm still going to get back uh, with the linebacker. Uh, and then, like I said, you want to make sure you align these guys. You probably want to have good coverage, man coverage guys at your safety spots. Uh, but this is obviously something, I mean, they're going against tight ends right now, so they should handle that pretty well. But you can see, I mean, I, I, there I was just, you know, this will do a decent job of stopping the run as well. But like I said, I, maybe I'll have to pick a pass play because I really just wanted to show this against a pass play one time. Um, see if we can get that. And like I said, I, mean, I, I don't I don't mind spreading the... Uh, spreading the outside linebackers either because they are the ones getting the pressure i'm just trying to bring everybody in here so let's go ahead and let's do this one time we get a pass play and you can see i mean like i said it's an all-out blitz so you're going to get those type of animations so like i said there are people that like to run this type of defense i'm not necessarily one of them but i wanted to at least show you guys this because i do use this quite a bit when it comes to uh certain things and these like i said there it's a run play and i'm shooting the gap once again so that's you know like i said that's a good blitz uh, and you can see just how good this defense is. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more uh, defensive videos like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.